National Irish Coffee Day is coming up, but we are celebrating a little early with some coffee-based cocktails. Yeah, mixologist and founder of Brown and Bounds, Josh Davis, joins us now with some recipes that are riffs on what the classics yeah, are. Yeah, right? a little play on it, I like right? that, I yeah. Mean, everybody loves the Irish coffee, right? right? It's one yes. of the classic cocktails. It was created on accident yeah. yes. way back in uh, back in the days, a long time ago, before all of us were drinking Irish coffee yes. mm -hmm. um, by just some tourists being in Ireland, and they accidentally got some cream, some sugar, and some whiskey in their coffee. Boom. Boom. There you go. Irish coffee. But with the surge nowadays today with cocktails, the espresso martini is like one of the most popular drinks yes. in the world. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do a play on it. Usually when you have espresso, it's 145 in the morning. I'm getting ready to close the bar, mm -hmm. and everybody rushes me and wants an espresso, right? But we're going to do it. They usually do it with vodka, but we're going to do it today with slain Irish whiskey. Okay. okay. So we've been here. We've done slain before. You mm -hmm. guys know it's big. It's bold. It's aged in three different casks. So the, all those flavors that it's pulling is going to help play into this coffee-based cocktail. All right? Okay. So. Yep. Double espresso. Okay. We're gonna use that. Ooh. We're gonna use a little bit of cream. Okay. And I made some uh, vanilla infused brown sugar syrup Ooh. today. Oh, that sounds that's yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're have some so fun. it all starts with the whiskey, though. It all starts with the whiskey. I mean, that's the most important thing mm -hmm. that we have here. So we're gonna go because I know how you guys like to do. <laughs> we're gonna go two ounces of whiskey in our cocktail. And then we're gonna shake this thing on up and have some fun with it. Is this something we could have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. For brunch? You know, a little it's, brunch, it's close to lunch. We won't brunch, early. home, when you wake up, mm -hmm. when you're on air. However yeah, you want to do it. Right. However it's you want to do it. All right, we're gonna give this fun. a good shake. Mm -hmm. I like Put all that. All those flavors together. Yeah, are they different casks in this? Yes, okay. it's a uh, virgin cask, okay. a sherry cask, okay. and a season cask, which would be Tennessee oak. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. I love that. Mm hmm. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. Ooh, look at that, it looks nice and creamy. And what's gonna happen is, as it settles and it comes to room temperature, you're gonna see the cream kind of separate itself and rise itself to the top. But we don't wanna do that though, do we? Yeah, we, yeah, we do, yeah, yeah, because what it is, is it's, a, it's layered, right? So when you're having cocktails, my thing is this, I always tell people, when you're having cocktails, if all you taste is the spirit, it's wrong. Okay. If you don't uh, taste any of the spirit, it's, it's still, still wrong. wrong. Okay. What you wanna do is you wanna taste everything as you... Ooh. Look at Live that. TV. Look Good at that. Good hands, Josh. Good hands, Josh. Mm -hmm. You want it to be brown and balanced. Absolutely. And we're going to drop a couple of coffee beans in each of these uh -huh. as a garnish. And because I know the ladies love chocolate, mm -hmm. we're going to put a little bit of a chocolate twist in here as well. I can't have this because I'm allergic, but there you go. And here How is. How pretty is that? The slain okay. Irish whiskey. Ooh. Espresso mm. martini. All right. Okay. So while you guys enjoying that, I'm going to start preparing the second drink. Uh, the second drink we're oh. having. Oh my yeah. gosh, that yes. is That's it. Yes, you that got it. it. Yeah. You know, because what I find with the espresso martinis, they, they have a bite to me sometimes. Just a little bit. Yeah, and better, this yeah. is more smooth. Yeah. This yes. is like a good cup of coffee. That, see? You, yeah. can have, you, you can have it while you're sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Nobody will know the difference. Yeah. Well, All right. So, what we're going to do for the second drink is called the Revolver. Okay. So, this drink was created uh, in the mid 2000s mm -hmm. by a San Francisco bartender. It's a play on the uh, Manhattan, which is okay. one of my favorite cocktails. Me too. Um, I've been playing around with it, and I love the flavors, again, that Slane brings out of it. So we're going to use some orange bitters. Okay. Mm. We're going to use a little Mr. Black coffee liqueur. I like Mr. Black, too. Yeah. Mr. Black. I've never good. had that. I've had it on my Black. bar. That's good. Ooh, right, look at that. You can see it in the bottom here. Experience it today. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get a little Mr. Black in there. We're going to go back with our double espresso. And this one, because I know Tanya likes the... Uh, Straightforward cocktails. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this one takes two ounces mm -hmm. of slain Irish whiskey as well. You gotta get where you gotta get. You right. gotta get hey, there. You gotta quick. get there. You know, you we here, here for a good time, not a long right. time. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> I like the way you I think. Do too. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do with this one is because we don't have any citrus, any cream, anything like that, we're gonna stir this cocktail. Okay. Okay. So you guys saw oh, shake it. Well, is that the standard when you have citrus or cream in it? You yes. must shake you it. You want to shake it. Yes. Okay. You absolutely right. want to shake it. Um, when you have something like a Manhattan Old Fashioned, the Gronies, Martinez, that is pretty much spirit based cocktails like this, you want to just stir it to dilute it. You don't want to agitate it too much. Okay. Too All right. Because you're always trying to get a little bit of the water. You just, in you there. just want a little, a little dilution. Bit. Okay. Just a little. Um, All right. While you're going to do that, I know you got some stuff coming up yourself, got right? Got a lot of stuff coming up. So this Thursday, okay. this Thursday, we will be in the south suburbs at the Linger Martini Bar on 167th in Oak Forest, where I'm doing the Brown and Balance Takeover. So once a month at that bar, I come in and we do things like this cocktail classes, 
Fun. events and all that. And it's a black owned bar. It goes right along with my principles and we just want to support them. I love okay. that. All that's right. fun. All right, so that's one event. You said you had a lot of things going on? Huh? You said you had a lot of things. I got a lot of things going on. Well, I'm, I'm getting prepped up now for Black History Month next oh, month. Okay. So it'll be next week. Okay. And you already know Black History Month, we're going to be super busy pumping black spirits out, pairing them with slang, pairing them with other partners that we have to really get out here and just show people all mm. the different new and exciting black spirits that are on the market. Okay. That's cool. All right. Right. Okay. So when we stir, are we trying to get the entire drink chilled? Because I know some people. We're not trying to get the entire drink chilled. So for me, I usually do about 15 seconds. Or if you could just feel it, and you can start. If you want to touch it, you can feel a little bit of a chill on and the mixing glass. Isn't the thing that you use the back of the spoon against the back of the? You can when you're pouring. Yeah. When I, you know, I'm trying to show off a little bit. I yeah, use yeah. the back of the okay. spoon. But for this, I'm, this is just straightforward. This okay. is just like okay. let's just hit you right in the face. Okay. You know what I mean? But I'm in a good way. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead, yeah. and because we, it is 10 o'clock, we're only gonna go halfway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we appreciate that. It is 10, it's you know. 10 a.m., I don't wanna, you know. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be <laughs> I wanna be invited back, happens. you know what I mean? Oh, I wanna yes. come back at some point, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, you get orange? Yes, you yes. get an orange, please. so you get all the flavor in your orange and in your citrus is right here in the peel. Okay. You just take it, and if so you see it. Little, look at that. Yeah, you give Ooh. it a little swab. I love that. I'll go around oh, the glass, I'll drop mm -hmm. it in there. Hey, I um, also want to make sure that you want to get more information on his events coming up. Brownandbalance.com is the website. Yes. Of course, this and other recipes, slayinirishwhiskey.com. This is awesome. Ooh, Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's mm -hmm. the one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll yeah, get that's you good. there That's the Real one. Quick. Yeah, yeah that's I like that. <laughs> this, this is my world. I like I've that. I've two mm -hmm. already today, so. Oh, <laughs> you good. You good, Josh. Thank you Thank so you. much. No, Thank you for having me awesome. back. I appreciate, appreciate it. That.